I was one of those kids that needed a horse since I was born, but couldn't get one because we didn't have money and all of that. So I had to wait till I was 39 to get my first horse. I didn't want to learn how to ride. I wanted to learn how to speak horse. And I wanted to find someone that could help me do that. So then I acquired Dooley, who's my Palomino, who had a distinctly different personality, one that was very, very, very dominant, very distrustful. He'd had a hard time. He'd been um, born and raised with a Mexican vaquero that just used him up. And he had dead eyes when I met him. And I thought, OK, he's bomb proof. That's good. He won't kill me. But on the other hand, I, I need help breaking through to him. So I start questioning the neighbors. And I come across a neighbor who tells me to read Carolyn's book, which I did in a heartbeat. Because anybody that learns things from horses, that's who I want to be talking to. So when it came time for my midlife crisis, I had to pick up a Mustang. <laughs> and I thought, how perfect with the Insider Circle program starting exactly at the same time he came here, like less than a week difference. Um, I thought, great, I will start all my, my trusting, trust building process with him, with Carolyn, and with her support. And that's kind of how that all rolled. I did look at quite a few natural uh, horsemanship programs to try and figure out how to get my bond going with Dooley. And the difference that I see with Carolyn's program that I love is that rather than learning how to speak in a way that a horse can understand you, where you're teaching the horse your terms in a way you can both understand, Carolyn says, mm -mm, flip it, you're going to learn how to speak horse. And when you start that relationship, that horse will understand immediately, oh, we're, we're speaking the same language here, which brings you to a whole comfort level immediately, immediately, um, because, and the trust can start building that instant. And it's not based on what you can achieve with your horse. It's all about the trust and getting the bond, and then you can go forward and do whatever you want. That's lacking in everything else I have personally seen. Um, just the time spending at liberty with him, I could get a read on his personality and what he's going to be like and what he likes and what he doesn't like and how he is in a group and how he is by himself before I ever sit on him. And the value of that is amazing. And he trusts me so implicitly now in the short time I've had him. OK, I haven't ridden him yet. And maybe it won't go as well as I'm hoping. But I'll bet you I'm going to have a pretty easy time when it comes to riding him. Um, I'm not rushing it. And I am following Carolyn's method. And it's wonderful being able to speak horse. Just by slowing down, you can learn so much and get a relationship going that when you do ask, the horse will be much more readily able to volunteer themselves to what you're asking. And they'll be open to your, your leadership. Hi, baby. It's a hi, sweet boy. Um, it's a rule of thumb to me when I'm working with any animal. You want to treat them the way that they want to be treated. And for me, I had to learn about horse behavior. And, and this program helped me with that hugely um, because I think that that's missing from a lot of other um, uh, different uh, programs that are out there. They don't take that into account as much. And Carolyn is strictly talking about what's good for the horses. And I like that because that's what I want to learn because then I can be a more effective leader and, and treat them fairly.